David. My man. How you doing, man? What's up, brother? How you, I'm, I'm good, man. Freaking great, dude. What are you up to? How you doing? You good? Um, dude, I'm doing great, man. I'm <laughs> super, super excited, man. We've, I'm so happy. We've both got the black shirt on today. Yeah, we both got the black shirt. I got my shelter in place haircut, man. Are you serious? Good, you did yeah. it yourself? My girlfriend did it. She just took like a number four, number five. And she dude, like, it looks good, bro. My wife, Thanks, she man. wanted to do the same thing. She even offered, she's all, dude, should I go to Walmart and get you some clippers today? Because my shit's out of Thanks. control. Oh, yeah, man. You as long as my due. hair's ever been, dude. You're due. <laughs> yeah. and i got friends good, that are man. barbers like i have yeah in fact i have like a really really good friend who's a barber and he's doing some house calls here and there but i know it's against their their um like they're not supposed to be doing that like they can get freaking right. like banned or whatever or, or their license yeah. to be in jeopardy so i don't, I don't even want to hit yeah. them up but i might i might just take a freaking two to the dome and just cut the damn thing just myself. do it yeah <laughs> it looks good yeah, it might be it might be this for a while you know i was like thinking about it i was like i don't know yeah you're right i don't know when my barbershop opens so hell you yeah know, I just handle it myself you know <laughs> right on man what but, do you got going but, on did you get your book back everything's good bro so um uh very interesting so um the guy who wrote my book uh didn't do a, a great job um, but mm. what it did is it gave me a foundation yes. to, to work off of. I could tell he's like, uh, he's, he's young. He's from Australia. He was using some, some verbiage and some dialogue that was kind of not, uh, probably not the audience. I don't want to present that to the audience I'm looking for, but what he did is he gave me a great, like five chapter outline, some information that I don't have to go dig for. And now I'm already, it's crazy. I'm like writing a book, dude. It's weird. It's the weirdest feeling because I've never well, done it. Right. And it's starting to just come out, dude. Like I spent an hour and I'm on <laughs> yeah. chapter one right now thinking, oh, this is cool, dude. I'll have this. So, so basically, yes, I do have a book. I'm, I, it's all, it's going to be done. It's going to be better than what he did because he did not touch on everything that I wanted to. But for the money, he lit the fire on the yes, foundation. Dude. And getting me to write this thing so it's about my presentation to people because that's what I'm trying to do is build this influencer type brand where I'm taking everything that I know and I can help people with because I'm, I'm breaking it down and I'm simplifying my whole approach to Ben's health and wealth is there's so much information out there people just get confused and like oh what am I supposed to eat I don't know man I, I hear this I see this I see that I'm gonna make it simpler and and get people to make a shift that makes sense that you can, whether you, you're home working all day or whether your, your days are 12 hours long, if you don't, the, the step one is making the shift. And so that's what my book is about is awesome, getting people to understand what's necessary before you can actually lose weight, build financial health, um, you know, be consistent. Like people want to jump into meal prepping and exercise when they went from fast food and soda and 5,000 calories a day to now I'm going to eat 1,800. It's not going to happen. People right. won't make this, it won't last, right? So that's what I'm trying to get into people. There's something mental. The body goes where the mind goes. So there's something mental that needs to happen. Mm -hmm. And I want to help people get into that mental space because people make excuses. Oh man, I don't have the information. I work 12 hours a day. I've got two kids. Um, I don't know. I don't have time to do all this meal prepping. It's like, that's for the, that's for the person that is like lives in the kitchen. You know, like mm -hmm. all the time, like they're just constantly obsessed. So anyway, uh, long story, short story long, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I think we'll have the it. book ready very, very soon. And if you can, you know, I'm super excited to get Kartra set up with you and, and get that going. And by the time we do that, I think my book will be complete soon and soon later. Dude, you're, you're on the right track, bro. On the right, right track. And, and to tell you the truth, to really be upfront with you, I was somewhat disappointed on my book as well. Cause that the whole, the whole freaking yeah. steps that you went through is what I did. I literally reached out to somebody on Fiverr and I'm like, dude, here's what I'm thinking here. Here are the topics. I need you to put together something. And I spent, I think I spent, I want to say I spent, I want to say I spent 25 bucks, no more than 50. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't no I more hear. than 50. But, um, when I got it back, I'm like, dude, I'm like, what the hell? Like, this this really isn't exactly everything I was expecting, but yeah. it freaking gave me a huge springboard and a blueprint. Yeah. And I'm like, holy shit, I'm gonna turn this into something great. And and I got back maybe from her because it was some 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 chick from I think she was like from Nigeria or something. Um, yeah. 
And when I got that back, it was like, I think, I think she put together maybe, maybe seven pages. And mm-hmm. I literally, dude, I'm telling you, I never wrote anything, bro. I'm not a writer. Like I'm not a blogger. Like I Same don't here. know none of that shit. Same here. But when I got that yeah. thing back, dude, I was like, I, I couldn't stop typing. I turned into an author all of a sudden. I turned it from seven pages, bro, into 50. And so now today, I literally have a, it's actually a 55 page because now that I, I added some images, so that's what you're going to do with yours. Don't yeah, think you have to totally. type everything. Like type, put some paragraphs, but also put some badass mm-hmm. images in there yeah. and, and turn your freaking 10 pages into 17 pages because all of yeah. a sudden there's images in between, you know? So now I have this badass piece of work, man, that I literally call my book. Like I wrote that damn thing. Like shit, yeah. I'm not giving her credit at all. Like, right. Cause it was yeah, just a few why? pages, if anything. And yeah. I turned it from nothing into something, but at the same time, it was worth my 25 bucks to get that far with it and have Same that here. type of start. So that's why I tell people all the time. I'm like, dude, try to find a good one, obviously, because there's good ghostwriters out there, but even if they just get a, get a start with it, dude, that's all you need. And, and you'll be able to, you'll, you'll surprise yourself on how much creativity you have to, to jot down the next 15 pages. Like, like you, like you probably can't sleep at night. You're like, damn, let me write some more, you know? And so now you have that piece of work, bro, that, that I'm telling yeah. you, that's what you're going to build your entire campaign around. Like your entire yeah. marketing push is now from this book, you know? I, and so I appreciate you sharing that with me because that's kind of how I feel. I was like super scared to even put that out there to this person. Like I want to write this book and blah, 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 blah. And then they did. And I was all like, oh, well, there's some pretty good information in here, but right? it just doesn't, it's not even a good introduction. It's not even like it just jumps into like statistics and things. And I'm like, okay, well, obviously they, they can, they can dig, they can get information. They can put in a PDF form. That's great. But like mm-hmm. you said, it really pushed me to be creative and, and go yes, that extra man. step and, and do it for my, and, and put myself into it. Right. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm so glad that we both did that because I'm so glad that you told me to do that because I only thought of Fiverr for like, you know, oh, I'll get someone to make a logo or, mm-hmm. you know, do this, mm-hmm. you know, video editing thing. And I didn't even think like, oh, I could write an ebook, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, pretty, dude, it's pretty amazing. Here's what I'm going to put you on to even further, which I, yeah. I knew that there were websites like this, but it wasn't until a person that I follow, like a mentor of mine, where she brought it up. And then I, I went, I went to the website. I'm like, holy shit, this is, this is amazing. Let me show you this page just because from this point on, Yes, mm-hmm. you're going to have this one piece, of, this one piece of, of work, this one piece of art, this book. But mm-hmm. in the future, you're going to have so many other topics that you're going to want to talk about. And when you could put it into some type of book, when you could put it into some type of a PDF where you can now use that bait. Because just like any, any, any good fisherman, it's not about one lure. Like I got 15 different lures, right? I'm a freaking yeah. fisherman. Like I got 15 yeah. different poles. I got 15 different lures. Like I'm, I'm catching 15 different fish. Right. So as you progress and as you start to freaking, you know, just expand, I'm, I'm telling you from day one, stick to one niche, like health and wellness, yeah. for example. But in that niche, there's so many different topics. Right. Oh, and so yeah. what, all I'm saying is that you're not going to necessarily always have to go back to Fiverr. I found I found this this pretty cool website right here, which is IDPLR.com, okay. where you can come over here and there's so many books so many ebooks like let me go to if i go to um if i go to if i go to products and i just hover over ebooks ebooks okay there's with resale rights like i can i can come over here and there's so many different um there's so many different books where i can let me see where where i go register for free so i got i guess i got to register but there's mm-hmm. there's thousands of books that are already done okay. and i could buy it for literally 5 bucks wow so the whole thing's already done for me. Like it's like pretty much like someone writing it from Fiverr, but at the same time you get you're getting the whole damn thing here for a few bucks. Okay. So just wow, do some do amazing. some research on this later on. I want to download 220 plus products for free. So they're all digital books that are already done and you could just pick them up for a few bucks and have the rights to resell them. Oh wow, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, dude. So so I've seen other websites like this, but I haven't done my due diligence on this one. But it was a mentor of mine that recommended it, so I, I I'm okay. thinking that it, that's a good one, and I'll I'll take a look at it later. Um, yeah. But but do some research on this one. IDPLR.com. You got it. That's that's a good one. That's going because on anything, the memory bank right anything there. Anything you can use as a digital download for bait, like anything you can use for bait, is 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 good, man. That's how you get people into your funnel in the in the first place. You know. Okay. So, 
a lot of people will either do it with some type of digital book. A lot of people would do it with a, an actual video, a video, and a lot of people do it with some type of webinar. Okay. So where I'm at right now in my career, I'm actually perfecting a webinar. So that's where I'm at now. So running Facebook ads to a webinar to get them to buy a high ticket product, which is a video course, which is a training course that I, that I put together. That's, that's where, you know, that's where, where I'm at now, but okay. these, these, these smaller ticket ones are just great way to capture leads. Like I caught so many leads by just giving away my free book, you know? So okay. yeah, take a look at this, at this site later on idplr.com. PLR. You bet, man. That's a really great resource. Thank you. Yes, dude. So where are we awesome. at now? Did you set up your Kartra yet or, or you haven't set it up yet? Yeah. Kartra. I set up Kartra through the link you gave me. So I'm signed up. I'm actually signed in right now. Uh, no share configuration. Your yeah. Let me share my screen yeah, with let me, you. Let me kind of. Let me just. Uh, okay, so let me go over to um, share screen. And then what you're going to want to do also is make sure that you're registered. Even if you can't make the live calls, they'll send out a replay. And, and just, and just what I have on my calendar, bro, is I have that hour booked and, and, and in that hour I'm watching the replay or I'm watching the live, the live one, but every Tuesday and Thursday they do a live screen share training. Okay. So I learned that's, that, that's where I learned everything from, man. I learned everything from plugging into these weekly trainings. Um, Cause it's just an hour long and it's just Q and a, it's the yeah. culture support team. These guys are freaking nerds, right? They study this. Yeah. Thing. They're the web developer people. So they, they know this stuff like crazy. And I just jump on and it's a Q and a, so you come with your questions or other people comes with their questions. And okay. sometimes I don't even have a question, but I'll just be like a fly on the wall and, and I'll just sit in on the hour and just, you know, watch them answer everybody else's questions. And I learned so much from it. Excuse me. Yeah. You know, bless okay, you. So, okay. so I'm trying to screen share and it says host disabled attendee screen sharing. Um, that's weird. I don't know why. And that happened before, dude. I don't know why that happened before. I don't know why that happens. Like I'm not sharing one. Per Let me. Okay. Go ahead and try now. Okay. Let's see. Okay. There we go. Awesome. So I'm going to share you, with you my Google Chrome. Share that. There Perfect. You go. I can see that. Can you see that? Okay, good. Awesome. So make sure, yeah, make sure you're registered for the Q and a, um, and then you can also always make sure you're in the, you're in the Karcher Facebook group, but to tell you the truth, I mean, I got your back. So if you need anything, freaking okay. hit me up, you know, like, cause a lot of times when you, when you're in these big groups and that's the thing you're going to experience with your group, you know, all the Facebook groups are pretty much the same where you got a ton of people that are all interested in the same thing. Um, but the moment, like in this case with Kartra, the moment you go and post a question and it's good, you can look at it as a good thing, you know, it can mm -hmm. be a good thing or, 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 you can look at it in a good way where when you post a question, you know, 50 people answer and they all got a different answer. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so, so it's, it's, it's good if you want to get a, a perspective from 50 different people, cause there's obviously thousands of people in the damn group. So, and everyone's yes. cool. Like when, normally when people are in a group, like as you start to grow your group, everyone's cool. Right. Cause everyone on this, on the same trip together. Um, but at the same time, if I'm looking for an answer from a question for a question that I have regarding this, Sometimes when you get 50 people to reply, it could be overwhelming. You know what I mean? You're like, damn, shit, I don't need one answer. Dude, yeah. too much information overload. And that, that's yeah. what happens a lot in groups. And so that's why, to tell you the truth, I don't even post in the group. If I have a question nowadays, I kind of have the whole cartridge system down packed. But if there are some things that I get stuck on as well. I email support. Like, I don't have a mentor like you do. Like, I'm your mentor yeah. with this now. Like, you can always reach yeah. out to me all the time now. Um, I appreciate that. But I don't have anyone like that. So my person is either I'm emailing Kartra because I don't want to ask it in the group. I don't need 50 different answers. I need one right answer, right? So rather than me posting in the group, I'll email support and I'll get my answer that way. Or I'll jump onto our weekly calls and I'll ask the question there to the, to the Kartra support person straight. You know what I mean? Okay. So makes sense. the support is off the hook is what I'm saying, but make sure that the Tuesday and Thursdays, make sure you're registered. Um, and then if, again, if you can't make it live, just delegate an hour a week, bro, to, to, to watch the replay. Cause you're going to learn a lot just by watching the replay. Okay. That sounds really great. I will definitely do that. I'm, I'm on board with that for sure. Heck yeah. So we're okay. So right here, you can just hit that, click that, 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 uh, that circle right there. I get it. No need to show me again. Top, right. Like top, right. 
Okay. Yeah, the little one, the little circle, see. actually down, the little circle above the crown, above the. Um, okay. No, yeah, there we get go. It. Okay. Yeah, so you can get rid of that. So perfect. So. Okay. Great. Cool, man. So, have you played around with this, or do you want me to kind of give you like a crash course on this, or where are we at? Yeah. So I mean, I just kind of you know tooled around a little bit. I can see that there's like you know there's a lot to set up when it comes to you know, like like a tutorial here. You can see I'm eight percent done. I put a little bit of profile stuff in there. Um, I clicked around on some of this stuff over here, but I haven't set anything up or done anything. I figured we'd wait until we get together and yeah, you can kind of you know, like you give me a uh, give me a tour and uh, help me do some formatting. Yeah, for sure, man, for sure. And here's what I can here's what I'm gonna do for sure. Now that I really think about it, I'm going to just simply because it's pretty simple. Um, I'm gonna just package up my whole entire book funnel and just freaking give it to you. Okay. And, and, and and that's the, the, the landing page, the thank you page. So as they go to my book page, like for example, um, like, let me share my screen real quick. Let me share my screen. Yeah. You want me to stop share on mine? Um, let me know if you can see mine. Okay. Let me stop share on mine. And then, yes, sir. I can see yours. Okay. I have, I have a sales page, which is a long form sales page. And I got all my stuff for, pretty much from the actual, templates that Karcher has, which I'll show you that part too. But since I already have it okay. together, I might as well just give you my entire blueprint. But I have, um, when it comes to my book, there, I have two different pages. I have one long form sales page. Um, can you see my screen? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm definitely there. Yep. I have one long form sales page where I actually sell it for $5 and 50 cents. Okay. So that's, that's mm -hmm. one long form sales page. It's one page. It's a Karcher template. And I just rewrote everything. And, and, and that page converts like crazy. Um, and then I have another page where I give it away for free. Okay. So, so, so both ways, two pages, when that person purchases or when they um, opt in to get the free version or whatever, they're then taken to a thank you page. And on that thank you page, is it's a thank you page and and in my case i have it's it's me on video so with my with my whole structure it's a video of me hey guys thank you so much for downloading my book this is david just wanted to introduce myself and say thank you and also let you know what to expect over the next few days via email i'm going to be educating you and sending you training emails so check for my email coming up and i have that little pitch right it's like a it's like mm -hmm. a one minute video yeah. But then in the video also, the way my, my whole layout is, is, and you'll see, cause I'm going to send you the entire, you know, freaking funnel, but on my thank you page, my whole objective with you, for example, your objective may be to get them to click the button to join the Facebook group. My right. objective in my video is yes, I'm thanking them. I'm introducing them. I'm telling them to check for my emails. I'm telling them, Hey, the book was just emailed. So I'm telling them all that too, but the call to action is to get them to click the link to schedule an appointment. So in my case, my book is for my social media clients. That's my bait to get them into my world. And so as they download my book or they buy it, the thank you page is designed with me on video to get them to schedule a call. So I'm saying, Hey guys, and by the way, if you would like to schedule a free strategy call where I walk you through all these five steps, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. And also, by the way, don't forget to check my emails. I got those coming up and some amazing value is going to be headed your way. Talk to you soon. And so that's the thank you page. And then what I have set up is, is the email list. Obviously, those people who download the book, they go onto an email list. And then what I have set up is an email autoresponder, which is the sequence. So in the sequence, that's where we get to nurture the lead. Because it's not right. like you're going to be calling these people all the time. And sometimes you're not going to be calling them at all, actually. But sometimes when they download the book, and if it's you on video, hey, this is Ben. Thank you so much. Hey, and by the way, click the button below. It'll take you straight to our Facebook group where you can join. We're so excited. Share this, share that. Just make sure you don't spam. You know, that's what you can say in a quick 60-second video. Okay. But here's the deal. Not all of them are going to click that button. Just like in my case, not all of them are going to schedule an appointment right away. They right. just downloaded my book. Now they're seeing me on video thanking them, telling them to schedule a call. Not all of them are going to schedule the call. So the way I have my email set up, I just have a handful of them and, and I'm going to send you the entire thing and then you could just reword them all. But the way my emails are set up is they're set up to educate you on what's in that book. So that's what I'm telling them in the video. I'm saying, hey guys, thank you so much. And by the way, over the next few days, I'm going to educate you 
on these five steps that I'm talking about in the book. So make sure you check for my emails because I'm going to be showing you in video format the top five steps. And so my emails are set up to talk, like, in, for example, in my book, I'm talking about five steps, five steps mm -hmm. for social media marketing. And that's what I base my emails around. So I base my emails around video number one, talking about step number one. And so my emails are just, again, a way to nurture that lead and build the relationship and get them to see me even more. So I'm going to be able to package all this up, which I don't think I've ever done for anyone, but I'm going to package okay. it all up for you and you'll have the entire blueprint, bro. Like you're going to be able to use this for a book funnel, um, whether you're planning That's on amazing. selling it or whether you're yeah. planning on giving it away. Okay. okay? And, and, and here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Let me just actually, well, first of all, let me just show you, this is my sales yeah. page. So, so I'm going to send okay. you this page and, 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 and this page, I don't know if you know who Frank Kern is. Um, I actually don't, I have never heard Frank, of him. Frank Kern is just an online marketer. He's been making money online for about 10, 15 years. He's like an okay. OG in the, in, in the online marketing world. Yeah. Um, and, and, and he, he, he designed a lot of the pages inside of Kartra. So this was a page that he used to promote his book. And I know that for a fact, because before I even knew about Kartra, I was following that guy and I was buying his, mm -hmm. his eBooks and I would right. go to a page just like this. And so he just, there's a whole bunch of templates, which I'll show you, but this was his template and, and we, we easily have access to it, but I already, you know, I have it here and I'm going to just send you this, but this is my long form sales page. So you're going to have a, a long form sales page and you're going to have a, a very simple page sure. for, for a free download, which I'll show you that one. Okay. Too. But this is my long form sales page where I'm just telling them. And, and, and there's a lot of psychology behind writing out something like this. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm writing out all this stuff. So a person that reads all this stuff, dude, is likely to buy. Like once I indoctrinate them with all this freaking verbiage and they read all yeah. that shit, they're like, damn, okay, he does make sense. They click on that and then boom, a checkout comes up and they could buy the book. Wow. So I have, so that's what you can do too, man. You can have a version where you can have a page where you're giving them away a free download or you could charge, you could charge. Okay. You know, you could charge. So I'm going to give you this page and then this is my free page. Um, the social real estate agent.com forward slash free book. And this is my free page and, and on my free page. So boom, I'm bringing them here and it's a much shorter page. Free book reveals the top five steps to implement on social media to capture more leads and build your personal brand fast. So boom, they come here and I even have a countdown clock. Once right. that countdown clock expires, it sends them to my sales page. Mm. So, so That's this brilliant. page, boom, no more. You got a minute, bro. If you can't make a decision in a minute to download something for free, shit, it ain't for you. you it ain't for you. <laughs> right? It ain't for you. It's free, I agree dude. with you. Right? Yeah. So the countdown clock, once it expires, it pushes them to the sales page, and boom, if they really want it, then okay, go buy it. But here, they freaking just come here, a few of my clients' testimonies, they click on the button, and boom, just tell me where to send it. And so I'm going to send you both pages. I'm going to send you the email list. I'm going to send you my okay. email sequence. And I'm literally, let me, well, I mean, I could, I could show you how I package it all up right now, but we yeah. could say that for another call. But I'll package for it all sure. up, and I'll, and I'll send it to you. Now, is, ahead is, and, building, um, is, is building the pages in Kartra pretty easy, like the landing page and stuff? Is it super oh, yeah, simple? Dude. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna show you that right now. So go ahead and share your screen. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'll walk you through through how how simple it is right now. You bet. You bet. Let's see. So I'm gonna say share screen. I'm gonna uh, I guess this one here. There we go. Okay. Okay. Cool. So go ahead and and click on. Let me show you where where there's a bunch of funnels and templates already done for you. Click okay. on um click on my campaigns. To the left, okay. down, okay. my campaigns. My campaigns, there we go. And then click on available campaigns. Okay, available campaigns. Where's that at? Right at the top. Right at the top. To the left. To the right left, there. okay. There we go. So these are all funnels, man, that Kartra already has done for you. Um, a mm. simple list builder, like you can click on it, you can watch a video, like it walks you through what exactly it does. Um, the one okay. that, that is the book one, if you scroll down, there's a free book funnel 
yeah, Frank Kern's okay. book funnel. That's the one that um, one here. that I'm going to send you. But okay. um, a lot of these are are just they're just the blueprint, like the funnel, yeah. the landing page, the thank you page, the email list, the sequence, like it's all packaged up for you. And all you got to do is click on those three dots and you can import it. So okay. like, for example, click on the Frank current, click on, click on it real quick. Click on um, view, view assets. View assets. Okay. So it comes with seven pages, four tags, four products, two lists and a sequence. A sequence. Okay. And, and the products is, is if you're planning on selling it. So again, I have one page where it's $5 and 50 cents. That is one product. So his other so three David, could products. You, could you break down each one of these things, pages, tags, products, lists, and sequences, just so I understand. Oh yeah, dude. Watch, cl close it, close it out. Click okay. on, you should be able to watch a video. I think all these have a video. So click on, click on the middle. Click on the image. Yeah. Bam, ah, right there. Okay. Click on that. So I can, okay. Press play. Click on this. Okay. Can you hear it? It's amazing. Wow, that was pretty simple. Right? Yeah. Like so so each one, you could look at each one and there's a video for each one. And 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 it's it's like, dang, dude, that saved you so much time on having to put the pieces to the puzzle. Yeah, like, that's a lot. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna so all you gotta do is import that and then you just go into each page and edit. Okay. The 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 headline's already there, the freaking font, like everything is already there. You just freaking click on okay. it and then put your own damn verbiage, you know? Wow. That's amazing. So, that is so powerful. So you got these done for you funnels. And then again, I'll, I'll package it up. I'll package up mine and I'll just send it over your way. And the way you're going to, I'll email you the share code because it's a share code. So the way you're going to do it is you're going to click on, um, yeah. So right here you clicked on my campaigns and then at the top you clicked on available campaigns. I'm going to email you my share code. So all you're going to do okay. is now you're going to click on that green button, click mm -hmm. on the green one import. Okay, so or, uh, no, 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 to the very right, the green button that plus very, oh, import. Okay, so I'm gonna email you the share code, and all you're gonna do is okay. import it. Wow, that's that's even more helpful. That, that's <laughs> it, dude. That's it. Yeah, you import it, you click on next, and then and then X out, go to an X out, and then you're okay. gonna see it right here. And then what okay. you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the three dots. So go ahead and cl click on any of those three dots, you're gonna click, and then you're gonna click de deploy. Deploy. Okay, and then boom, you have that entire freaking funnel all up in your that's, that's amazing dude thank you so, wow so it's like dude from from a Kartra user side i could uh -huh. take that share code like it's my entire funnel bro like i can yeah. really sell that to people like that's what yeah. you can do like that's how you could turn around and start selling funnels to people okay and, and it's like dude or or in my case what i do is i just give it away like i give it especially for those of you that click on you know my link 
and and now now I make that affiliate commission. That's really to tell you truth all I care about. Even though it's not a lot of money, right. it's yeah. still, it still it starts to add up every month, bro. And that's that's my residual income, right? So I, I I'm chasing yeah. the passive income more than chasing selling it to you for a few hundred bucks, right? Like I don't want right. to. Right. So, but you could you could easily like once you start to build your stuff, it's like dang, dude, what if like what if you get good at this and 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 you start by putting together your book funnel, and then all of a sudden you build a side hustle of selling your book funnel to other people who want to start their own, who want to write their own book. Wow. I didn't even thought, think about that. I never even thought you're blowing it up. Dude. You're, you're blowing the roof off of everything. It's like, right? wow, I didn't even think about that. Like yeah. that's a whole nother freaking income stream. Hey guys, this right. is Ben. I've been, I've been in the affiliate marketing space for the past year. I have this amazing book funnel. So now I'm fired up and passionate about looking for other entrepreneurs who want to put together a book and, and I already done the funnel for you. You know, that's a whole nother freaking avenue for you, man, for anyone. Yeah. You know, so yeah, it's amazing. That, that, that's, yeah, that's, that's a simple thing about Kartra and with click funnels, it's, it's similar, but it's mm -hmm. just the landing page. Cause that's all it is, is the, is the actual pages. So with right. click funnels, I could put this together and, and sell it to people or give it to people. And, 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 and now you have the actual funnel, but with Kartra, I'm also including the list. I'm including the right. tags, which you'll learn about. I'm including the email autoresponder. I can even include the calendar, like all these other components that are needed are all included. So mm -hmm. you'll see, man, I'm going to, I'm going to send over my calendar. Like I'm going to package it all up and that's okay. what you're not doing in other softwares. Yeah. So, and so when people, it's so when people click on it and then they put their email in that email goes into my database, right? And I capture their email and their yeah. SMS. If I tell them to put in their phone number, now yes, I have their, 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 their email and their phone number. And then I can then send out email campaigns to them, right? Like, Hey, check out this oh, new yeah, thing I'm dude. doing. You read the book. So check this out. Boom. This is the next thing I'm on to. Um, oh, I yeah, guess that's kind of how it works. Right. Okay. Oh yeah. But see, here's the thing. What I'm going to send you, is 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 the sequence so for example mm -hmm. when they go to your book page they they enter their name and email they're automatically put on a list and then okay. we're going to tie a sequence to that list which is your email autoresponder and got so it. rather than you having to wake up every morning and write up a, no, a new email you're going to have a handful of emails that are already set ready to go so okay. anyone that enters your world whether it's your book whether it's another funnel it doesn't matter they're going to enter that, that page. They're going to, that page, they're going to opt in. They're on a list and I already have a, a, an autoresponder that's already set to go. So I don't have to worry mm -hmm. about that next email. I don't have to worry about what the hell am I going to say and, and communicate with them tomorrow? Like, no dude, right. I'll do that later. But for right now I have 15 emails that are already set to go. Like, and, and, and that's why when, when you start off and you lead with a book, in my opinion, it's the best because now I have emails that I can, that now I have content that I can put in the email. So for example, mm -hmm. in my case, my emails that I have set up are all based on the book. So when you download my book, you're going to get the email right away to download the link. You're going to get the link, but Hey, tomorrow you're going to get another email. Hey Ben, this is David just following up. Hey, yesterday you downloaded my book, the social real estate agent. Hey, remember on page one, when I was talking about step one, here's what I meant by it. And by the way, I made a video click here. So, so I, I don't just have an email that goes out. I literally have a video that goes out where now I'm just simply talking about the book. Three days later, another email. Hey Ben, this is David. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, thanks so much for downloading my book a few days ago. Remember step three, when I was talking about Facebook advertising, here's what I meant. In fact, I made a video about it as well. Click here and it'll take you straight to my video. Talk to you tomorrow. So now my emails, dude, are all freaking based on what they downloaded. And, and, and in my case, I even have it on video. So okay. I'm going the extra mile by not only nurturing the list by emailing them, but I'm going the extra mile by putting my face on a damn video talking about it. And these are all via email. This is all automated. These are emails that go out. Once you download my book, once you step into my world, you're going to hear from me Yeah, and you're going to hear from me and it's <laughs> going it. to be automated and it's going to be via video. So, so that's what I'm going to tie everything to the damn funnel, bro. I'm going to give you the entire shebang, the pages Dude. and all the video pages, because, because the way my sequence is set up is it's talking about the book via email, but when they click, they go to another Kartra page where it's me on video. 
And I'm talking about a specific part in the book. So I'm going to give you the entire blueprint that I want you to model. So when I download your book, an email mm -hmm. comes out three days later and it's been on video talking about what's on page three. The book. Talking about yeah. the book. Okay. Talking about the book. You know, and, and, I love and, it. And, and, and in between, obviously, and, and like, like you can look at it this way. Let's say, for example, the first seven emails, let's say, let's say we set up freaking, let's say we set up 10 emails and, and actually, you know what? I'm going to challenge you. Let's say, I want you thinking bigger. Let's say we okay. program 20 emails. Okay. Now that's going to obviously take a little bit of time. We're going to, you know, sit back mm -hmm. a couple hours and write them all out, but shit, okay. bro, that's a one-time thing. So, so you spend a couple hours on a Sunday afternoon and you put together these 20 emails and you look at it from the consumer's perspective. They just downloaded my book. Okay. What would be great for them to, to get from me tomorrow? And that's going to be email on maybe on chapter one. And then the next email, maybe on chapter two, but here's how I want you to think. And I want you thinking bigger. Let's think 20, 20 emails are going to be preset in the sequence. And here's how I would set it up. Every and the reason why I don't have it set up with my, in my case, cause it's not really affiliate marketing. It's not really, I have my book funnel set up for my clients. And so in that case, mm -hmm. what I'm shooting for is for them to schedule an appointment, not necessarily for them to buy some other type of product. Right. But in your case with affiliate marketing, that's what it would for sure be around. So for example, if we had 20 emails that were set up, they opt in, they download the book, email number one, triggers right away and that's for the link to download the book tomorrow they're going to get another email hey dave this is ben hey thank you so much for downloading my book yesterday blah 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 hey do you remember on page three when i was talking about diabetes here's what i meant by it and 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 also by the way dave i put it in, in video so click here and you can watch me on you know 30 seconds and i'm, I'm telling you bro whatever you're thinking via you you, you want to put down an email via text mm -hmm. i'm telling you you can do that in a video Okay. So, so, so whatever you plan on right now, make that your damn video. Okay. And so let's say, for example, that's email number one and that went out two days. Actually, no, that's not, that's email number two. The first email they got was the link to download your book. Hey Dave, thank you so much. Here's your download link. Talk to you later. First email that goes out, but the email that goes out tomorrow. Okay. It's about talking about that book. Hey Dave, chapter one, two days later, you send out an email so we're thinking 20 emails. Mm -hmm. Two days later, that's an email on an affiliate offer. Two days later after that, you're telling me about chapter two. Two days later after that, you're sending me an email, uh, an email with an, uh, another affiliate offer. Two days after that, you're talking about chapter three. Two days later, you're sending me an email, uh, an email with an affiliate offer. And these okay. offers are all on the same topic. Like I'm not, don't yeah. send me some random bullshit offer on freaking, right? On on freaking you're, sunglasses. You know what I mean? Like, exactly. Like, my like, favorite. Like, <laughs> like like right. I remember your Ray Ban <laughs> analogy. Yeah, my, so yeah. Don't send me some random offer on that. Keep the offer tight and keep it within that niche. And say, hey Dave, okay. you know what, man? And this is email number three. Hey dude, in the book I was talking about this. Hey, check this out, man. I came across this offer. I came across across this one product that is this specific vitamin. Let me know what you think about it. And, and, and they click, bro, and it takes them to Amazon. Or they click, and it takes them to ClickBank. Mm -hmm. And it's some, it's some video training that, you know, tied to a course, happens to be 100 bucks, and Ben makes 50%. Yeah. So, so you're mixing the offers in with the value-based emails that are going out. So if we have 20 emails, I want 10 emails being the offer, being different offers, and I want mm -hmm. 10 emails educating them on what's in the book. Uh, this is just like brilliant, dude. You've really put together an amazing strategy. It's a strategy, dude. It's a right? real strategy. Yeah. And it makes total sense because this is what goes right back to the beginning of what we talked about, which is sure you can spam people with links and you'll get some sales and you know, you can just drop here and there and say, Hey, check out this new thing that I saw, but this is way deeper and more brilliant. It right, has dude? actual thought into it. And, 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 and it's, and it's, and it's all backed by a, a, a value based, offer i'm giving you this pdf that's where it all starts and it's all driven by paid traffic not just posting it and spraying it everywhere and crossing our fingers and hopefully someone clicks on our damn link i know that's what every freaking amateur affiliate marketer tries to do like and i and i know firsthand because i know it 
but at the same time, I also experience it. On my YouTube videos, every single day, it's some random ass person posting an affiliate link. And, yeah. and, and, and it's like, damn, dude, like really like shit. It, it's, it's just so freaking stupid. It's like such a waste of time. I'm like, dang, dude, like someone needs to help these people. You know, and I'm trying. Hey, to I just want to. I want to congratulate you too. I, I did want you to know I am a subscriber on your YouTube. You have two thousand two hundred, I believe, right? Is that what you're? You sent me an email. I want you to know that I did subscribe, and I, I sent you an email back. And super cool milestone, bro. That's bro. Thank really you so much, dude. dude. And, yeah. and, and and that's the power of an email list. That's my whole yeah. point. That's the power of an email list, bro. Like when I had that freaking. This was yesterday. That video is. I, I recorded the video. I, I recorded a video of me doing it. So as I'm, mm -hmm. that's why I'm saying, man, this is your YouTube channel. Now, as you're doing all this random stuff, all you're doing is documenting it. So yesterday mm -hmm. I literally documented how I did it. So for example, my whole strategy was I was at, I was at 2194. So you got that email. I literally recorded myself doing that. So that video is mm -hmm. going to come out in a few days. I recorded okay. myself doing that. And, 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 and I was at, I was at 2194. Okay. Mm -hmm. I sent that email out and literally two hours later, two hours later, I was at 2211. Yeah. All because of one email, bro. Like all because of yeah. one email. Like I jumped from, I jumped from 2194 to 2211 That's and, and, and where I'm at now, watch, look, dude, let me, um, let me know if you could, if you could see my screen. Let me stop sharing mine and then I'll see yours. All because yep. of this one email that, that I sent out to my list. And I, was, and I was recording myself. I'm doing a YouTube video. I'm freaking walking people mm -hmm. through. And the whole, the, whole thing, the whole title of that was how I get YouTube subscribers. So I, was, so I was bringing value in my video by teaching people how I get YouTube subscribers. That was, that's one way I email my list. Mm -hmm. But I'm also bringing value via, the, via this YouTube video by teaching people how to send out a broadcast email. And that's what I was doing. So I was teaching you in my Karcher account, how I send out a broadcast email to everyone on my list. So two value points were on that YouTube video. And again, I was going to, I was going to email my list anyways. Mm -hmm. Like I was going to send out a broadcast anyways. All I did was turn on the damn camera and made a YouTube video out of it. Yeah. That's it, bro. That's and really so it's like, and so, and so look, let me show you now. So as a result of me sending out that email literally a few hours ago, cause it was last night, yeah. um, hasn't even been 24 hours yet. I went from 2194. Let's see where we're at now. 2194 last night when I was sending out that email and I'm recording the whole thing at 2194. And now, now it's at 2215. 215. <laughs> And the beautiful thing, dude, is this is people that are out in the ether. This isn't anybody that you know. It's not your friends and family, you know, jumped in to help. This is what you have a real audience at 2215. That's like real people, you know, clicking subscribe, following your videos, you know, following all your all your stuff. That's pretty that's pretty awesome, man. Dude, that's pretty good. But but what's so crazy and what what fires me up and what what just kind of just I don't know, man. I can't I can't explain it. Yeah. This, this is content. Those 2,200 could be following me on Facebook. Those 2,200 mm -hmm. could be following me on Instagram. Those 2,200 right. could be my LinkedIn connections. Right. Right? Because I'm putting out content. But because I only put content on YouTube. Right. Now YouTube is sending me. So if I go to my analytics, YouTube's the only damn platform that's going to pay me. So if I click on revenue and I click on, let's just look at, let's just look at, at April, for example. 698 dude an extra yeah, 698 up. every every yeah, month bro. so i just yeah. started i just started getting paid from youtube in november of 2019 yeah i remember this so so december it was 335 413 494 568 in april i'm closing out at fuck at freaking 698 bro and how this is, is and content how you, that i would have put out youtube Anyway, go ahead. It was YouTube what? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Uh, how is YouTube paying you? Like, what are they paying you for? Uh, are these, um, is this click through or something? Like, how is no. that working? Very good question. On every YouTube video, bro, no matter who you're watching, mm -hmm. there's ads that run. Right. That's right. ad money. 
I see. <laughs> so, 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 so Russell Brunson will be running an ad in between my videos. Russell Brunson, ClickFunnels, pays YouTube to run YouTube ads. YouTube runs that ad on my video and breaks me off a cut. Wow. Beautiful. That's, That's YouTube amazing. ad money. Wow. So my, okay. what has me so fired up is because as an entrepreneur, I don't care what kind of business you're building. You're over, you're over here on social media posting to get as much exposure as possible. You're putting random videos on Facebook. You're putting random videos on Instagram. You're trying to build up a LinkedIn freaking profile when none of those damn platforms are sending me money. Mm -hmm. I take all that same energy. I take that same content. I put the same damn video that I was going to put out anyways, but I put it here. And as a result of it, I'm at already 700 extra a month. And I don't care who anyone is. I don't care how much money you make. You're telling me an extra 700 a month wouldn't help you out? Oh, dude, that's huge money to me. Right? <laughs> uh, yeah. To yeah. anyone, bro. So that's why with what you got going on right now, all of that, bro, video, documentation, YouTube. Okay. Don't even waste your time putting it anywhere else, bro. Like, you don't need to. Yeah. Don't waste your time. Facebook okay. group is one thing. But, but at the same time, as you build your Facebook group, I go and download your book. I come to a thank you page. It's been on video saying thank you, congratulating me, telling, telling me to check my emails, and also telling me to click the button to join our Facebook group. So your Facebook group is going to start growing as you start to get people to download that book because that's where they, they see the button. That's where they see the invitation, right? And, yeah. and you can control that because it's paid traffic. And now we're running paid traffic, paid traffic, and we're building up that Facebook group fast. And in that Facebook group, rather than putting random videos in there and going Facebook live, which is what everybody would do, I do the YouTube video. And then I take the YouTube video, then I share it everywhere else. So if you look me Makes up on sense. any platform, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, my personal page, my business page, you don't see any native raw video. You see my YouTube video. I stem mm -hmm. everything from my YouTube video. I want you watching my YouTube video because again, ads are running and I'm getting paid. Right. So that makes sense. you now have this new venture that you're on, bro. You start putting mm -hmm. that out in video form and parking it here. And I'm telling you, dumb it down, dumb it down. You're already with all the knowledge you have right now, you have to know that there's millions of people that are a few steps behind you. And that's yeah. your audience. That's your audience. That's who you start to educate. That's who you start to attract. Is that person that hasn't yet pulled the trigger on Fiverr. They haven't yet set up their Amazon affiliate account. And so you already, even though you may think you don't even have the knowledge yet, you do, man, you have, you have yeah. a ton of knowledge to start building your own tribe. Yeah. You know? And, and, yeah. and, and a lot of times people worry about how they look or, or how they, you know, sound. It's like, dude, you understand? There's an audience for everyone, bro. Like there's an audience for everyone. People, people that are watching this YouTube video right now, do you understand that so many of them are going to jive with you versus me? Right. right. And, and vice versa. If you put this out mm -hmm. on your channel and it was, it was a video of you and I, a handful of those people are going to look at it and be like, damn, okay, that, that guy, David, he seems actually pretty cool. Let me, let me follow him too. So it's like, we, there's a piece for everyone. And, and when, you're in a, when you're dealing with a billion dollar industry, it don't matter what the hell we're selling. All you need is a crumb. Just give me a crumb, bro. Like I don't need a billion. Yeah. Give me a crumb. Yeah. Give me a fraction right. and I'm straight. And that's, that's, that's my whole thing on, on, on YouTube, on, on encouraging others. Because I'm like, dude, even at my low like count, that's still considered a small channel. Obviously that's bigger than someone that has 20 subscribers. But at the same time, when I look at mine compared to someone that right. has 20,000, yeah, I would think, you know, it would be still a small, and just in general, it's still considered a small channel. But at the same time, do you understand that, dude, the small people, the amount of people, that's why I appreciate every single one of them. Because even at that small channel, I'm getting a good commission out of it. You really like, are. like, dang, dude, right? <laughs> yeah. Anyone can do that, man. Anyone can do that. Okay. You're going to do that. You're, you're going to do that, bro. So start, start, did you even start your channel yet? Um, I, I do have a channel for um, for Ben's uh, uh, health and wealth. I think I started that. Um, I does it even does it start the channel automatically when you have a you when you I did sign up for a YouTube channel, so I do okay. a YouTube account. So um, yeah, I do have a YouTube uh, channel. I should have the YouTube channel up. I don't know if it's up yet. Um, let's see. Ben's health. Yeah, let's see if we can find it. 
Maybe I need to do something to activate it. Let's see if I can find it under that, which I probably wouldn't. Actually, is it? No, it's not that one. Um. Yeah, you do you'd want to. Do, do I need to do anything to make it active or? Well, you got to set it up. And once you set it up, it's, it's normally active. Um, but it would be hard to find if you haven't posted, you haven't posted any content on it yet. So that's, that's the thing is it's set up, but it's not like I put an avatar up there. I put my logo you know what? and stuff. Go to, um, go to, go to any amount of, let me go to share your screen. Okay. Go to, go to, go to my, go to YouTube and go to any of my okay. videos and comment, comment below. Okay, so let me show the screen. Uh, um, there we go. So let's go to YouTube. Yeah, if you comment below, I'll be able to see that profile pick and, and click on it and then and then find that channel. Okay. So da -da -da -da. What's the best way to search? Sorry, I've got a lot of. You could just search. You now. could search my name. Actually, just go David David Cantero. Actually, it's to the left, okay. right there. Yeah, you're probably in my favorites. So awesome, dude. Um, you're so my favorites too, Ben. Yeah, always, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> just comment, and then I'll see. I'll see where that comment's coming from. Okay, so where should I comment? Just to go, just I'll click in the like. Below. Yeah, yes, right there, right there, at the bottom, right there. Add below. a comment. Add a public comment. Thanks for everything, David. Perfect. Thanks for spell spell everything right here. Thanks for everything, David. That will okay. So I'll say comment. Okay. Oh wait, you know what? This is like I think this is. So I have two YouTube. So I have two Google account. Like I have a BG Investment seventy five at uh, Gmail dot com, and I have Ben's Health and Wealth now. So let me go. So, so log out of that one and yeah, comment with the other one then. Cause I want to give you a shout out, bro. I want everyone watching this YouTube video to go subscribe okay. to Ben's channel. Let's See, so I saw this one, the, yeah, the Ben Gibbs one. Okay, so let me, so now I'm, I should be logged in as, oh, I'm still not logged in. This is something I'm gonna have to see. I gotta get logged in as Ben's Health and Wealth. So I'm logged in under a different profile right now. Just go to, um, go to the, go to the, um, go back to YouTube. Okay. Pull up, pull up the YouTube tab okay. and then click on your profile picture in the top right. Okay. In the top right. Yeah. And then just go switch account down. Oh, switch account. Okay. Hold on. Let me move this over down. here. Switch account. There right we go. Okay. Account. This is something oh. I have to learn. I these, these types of things. It's oh like yeah. These, it's all good, dude. These, these ninja tricks to getting, getting things yes, done. Okay. So now if I leave, cause I've been communicating with you with my other email account. So let's see. Okay, so now stay, you're, you're not even up here. So, so David Cantero, you should come up. Yeah, so as you start to upload videos and boom, once you type in that person's name, you'll be able to see it right there. But yeah, okay. comment, go to any one of my videos and just comment, comment from that one. Okay. Okay, so I did comment on it now. So thanks for everything, David. So Man, yeah, so got now it. I'm following you under under Ben's Health and Wealth. I've been doing it under uh, uh, my like my real estate yeah. kind of account, which is fine. I, I need to be following you on both. But so I'm subscribed, I've liked, and I've commented. So awesome, dude. So okay. this is this. So come back to my screen. You should be able to see. Okay. Uh, my so screen let's now. Go, stop share. Okay, so there we go. I can see yours now. Perfect, dude. So right here, okay. man, Ben Gibbs. Everyone go freaking follow Ben Gibbs right here, man. 
subscribe to this channel. I'm going to put a link for your YouTube. So this is your actual, for now, this is your, your link. You can't customize it until you reach 100 subscribers. Got it. Okay. So, so once you re reach 100, then this could be Ben's health and wealth or whatever you want to okay. name it. So, so obviously the first thing, you know, you know, we're working on Carter right now, but the first thing I got to start doing is get like an introduction video up to what this is, start documenting like just a lot of the things that I'm doing and putting that up. Uh, like you said, we need to backtrack a little bit and start focusing on some of like helping, putting out information, value information out there on your YouTube channel, get people, you know, sort of interested. Yeah, um, dude, I think that's, that's probably like a big project for me, you know. No, dude, it's not. I'm telling you, it's not, bro. Like once yeah, you just start documenting, either. once you just start documenting, once you just start talking about what the hell you're fired up on, yeah, people are going to find you. Okay. Bottom line. So don't try to tweak it. Don't try to freaking make it something that it's not. Don't try to pitch anything. You don't need to. You don't need to. Just start okay. talking shit, bro. Like, just start talking. Just, I'm telling you, dude, turn the damn camera on and just do what you do. Like, it don't even matter. Like, do. it does not, there's, there's no perfection. There's nothing you need to sugarcoat. Nothing, okay. nothing, dude. Just freaking day in the life, dude. Hey, dude, this is Ben. I'm just going to freaking walk you through some stuff that I got going on. I'm telling you, dude, you could sound that boring as hell and people will still follow you. <laughs> people are still into it. Yeah, because you're going to, because like attracts like, and, and, and whatever you put out is what you're going to get out. Like, and, and so it's not that you got to be this person that you're not be you mm -hmm. that's be yourself, be the, be the real you. And, 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 and so the biggest advice that I can give on YouTube building a channel is, is you want to be consistent. So you, now you want to, you want to think of how many videos you want to start uploading, uploading per week. I would say for sure, if you have a busy schedule, then that's fine put up at least two videos a week, okay. like at least upload at least two videos per week. And, um, and number two, stay on topic. So we're going to talk about health and wellness, health and wealth. That's our mm. topic. Don't mix real okay. estate in with that nope. topic. Right. Mm -hmm. So leave that for a second channel or whatever, but on this channel, yeah. stay, stick to the same topic. And there's a, there's a million variations to any given topic. And, and just start talking about that, man. Start documenting what you're doing. Talk about affiliate marketing. Day in the life, man. Day in the life. As you're setting something up, that's all my videos are on, man. As I'm sending out an email, I'm recording it. And at the same time, mm -hmm. I'm teaching people how to do it themselves. As I'm freaking putting together a landing page, I'm teaching people how to do it. Like As I'm finding different affiliate offers, I'm recording it, showing people how I'm doing it. Okay. That's your content, bro. Like That's your content. You know, as you're setting up your Facebook group, hey guys, this is Ben. Just want to share share my my screen real quick and, and show you how I set up my Facebook group and how I you know ask this question and why I'm asking this question because I don't want a bunch of people just randomly talking about Ray Bans and and we're focused on health and wealth. <laughs> Record that, bro. Like, okay, don't you know it's it's all it's the real it's what's really going on. You know, make that your content. Make that your content. Okay. You know, and um. When I first started also, I, I, I started on my cell phone. So I would do videos on my cell phone, like just random selfie style, you know, videos. But then I started, I started getting more engagement um, towards like 20, like towards like 2018. I started in 2017, mm -hmm. but then um, I wasn't consistent at all. But then I started getting a little bit more consistent in 2018. Still didn't know what the hell mm -hmm. I was doing, but that's when yeah. I started going screen share and started going tutorial and, and, and teaching people. That's when my yeah. channel really started to take off. And in okay. 2019, when I really learned how to upload, I really learned how to stay consistent. That's when it really took off even further. But the, 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 the main part was teaching, yeah. was tutorial, screen share, walking people through my journey and, and, and the journey of online entrepreneurship. And, and that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be walking people through the journey of affiliate marketing, the journey of health and wealth, right? And so I'm telling you, man, you don't need to prep. I wouldn't worry too much about prepping for it. As you sit down and do what you do, bro, turn the camera on. Okay. And, and just give us, a, give us a, a bit of what the hell you got going on. Okay. And people are going to find you, man. And they're going to find you intriguing. And they're going to find you freaking, you know, like-minded. And, and they're going to follow you, man. So. That's, that's, this is amazing, dude. Because this is like, you know, trying to put all this together. And when I talk to you, it makes sense. Because you're, you're, there's so much of it out there, you know. We got to simplify it. Like yeah, simplify it get going on things and we are you know so yeah it's really good that that you know um is there it's it's three o'clock do you have other things you need to go, go no do, let's let's, let, let's spend some time on Karcher real quick let's go share okay. your screen and, and go to Karcher real quick okay you bet so uh, uh, 
uh, Kartra. Let's see, is that the right one? There we go. Okay. And whatever whatever questions you had too, whether it was this, whether it was anything else, just let me know. You know. Yeah. So far, everything. Yeah, this is all good. So I guess uh, you know, getting back to Kartra. Do is there anything we need to go through, like the other setup steps? Like we, I now I now have a good clear understanding of setting up the the long form landing page, the short form landing page. You're going to send me a code so that I can deploy some of some of your. Uh, pre-built stuff. That's great. That's very beautiful. Yeah. And then uh, is there anything else that we need to do as far as, you know, setting up a database or anything? Let me, um, let me send you what I want you to do is I want you to, um, I want you to register for the training calls. That's, that's for sure. Okay. Uh, what I want you to do. Let me, okay. um, cannot minimize them when you're recording this. Okay. So I can't, I can't, Actually, here we go. Here we go. Let me send it to you from here. Let me just um, grab the link real quick. Okay. Okay. So this right here, make sure you register for this. So that, that's number one for sure. So that chat that came through, see if you see that link. Uh -huh. Register for that. And again, if you cannot make the live ones, they're at 1 p.m. Pacific time every Tuesday and Thursday. Then, then they'll email you a replay and just figure out the day of the week when you're going to sit there for an hour and watch the damn trainings. Okay. I'm telling you, sometimes they're boring. Sometimes you're just sitting there and they're just like, uh, you know, it's sometimes boring, but at the same time, it's like you're learning. Like you're learning how to – sometimes people have random questions, but sit yeah. there, man. Sit through. It's only a damn hour. Sit through it. After a few of those calls, you're going to be like, holy shit, I can do this, you know? Yeah. And when did you say it was? Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Okay. So I'm going to put it in my, try to put it in my browser right now and register for it. Perfect. Uh, yeah. So I'll just do that while we're here. Register. Uh, okay, so I just select. Oh, it's every 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 Thursday at one p.m. and every Tuesday at one p.m. Okay, great. So which one do I select right now? Just uh, either one. You could do either, either one. one. Okay. Yeah, do the Thursday one. Okay. And then bam. Register. Bam. Cool, man. Okay, so that's so, good. That's a good step right there. Yeah, dude, that's really really good. Okay, so let's go okay. to Kartra and then let's click on. Um, Let's click on, let's just, let's just go through some basics. Like let's go to the very top and then click on your profile on the top, right? Okay. Let's scroll so back not, up to the very top, okay. to the right, right hand corner. Right hand corner. Okay. Yeah. Let's very, see. very top. Click on your profile image. Okay. So right there. Yeah. Let's just see it. And then click on profile. And do you okay. have a, a dot com? Yeah. So I do have uh band's health and wealth, uh, dot com. I own that. Uh, Perfect. Perfect. Felt that way. Yeah. So, Right now I have it like uh, directed. I was trying to set up a Shopify store. So I, okay. I did direct it, to, but we, we might want to direct it. I'm not doing Shopify is like a whole nother thing. So you okay. know, I'm, not do, I'm not doing that right now. So maybe I need to you know, go to my Bluehost and have them direct, you know, uh, do those necessary things to direct that IP traffic to where we, we might want it to go. Yeah, you know? dude, for sure. You could. Um, and, and so I, I'm not too, too familiar. Actually, I'm not familiar at all with Bluehost. Um, mm -hmm. but there should be instructions on how to, how to do it. Um, okay. I'm familiar with GoDaddy, but the way you would, you would do that is click on the, the, your profile okay. and then your, so. your, to, to the top, right? The profile picture. So, uh, okay. And then, um, click on custom domains. Custom domains. Okay. And then this is where you would do it. So you would just click on the, the green one. You would type in your domain and you're gonna go with domain, not subdomain, or not, yeah, not subdomain. It would be that one, only the main domain. So you okay. would click on that. Okay. And then you would enter your domain and then you could put your your favicon, which is your logo. You could okay. put that in right there. Um, okay. Go ahead, yeah, go ahead and get through as much as you can. I don't think okay. you're gonna to have to go to Bluehost later on, but let's yeah. see how far this will take us before we have to do that. Before we and have then, to do that. Um, yeah. Yeah, the Favicon is a little logo. You could drop that little logo. Um, okay. We could do uh, choose this one. Perfect. That's good. Yeah. I've got like seven of them, so that's good. Awesome, dude. Confirm. Confirm. I love that Beautiful. logo too, man. I love the color. 
Looks really good. That's a, that's a good Fiverr. This guy, he did this on Fiverr. He did me seven logos for like, you know, yeah, like 70 bucks. It was good. It was worth it, dude. He was really good. Two days, awesome. boom, he had it done. Awesome, so, dude. Hit the green one, hit next. Okay. And so, so from this point on, so this right here, is what we need to know. So what, what you're going to have to do is make sure you read our custom domain integration guide. Okay. That right there, if you open up that guide, there should be a walkthrough for Bluehost. I know there is for yes. GoDaddy. Okay. Um, and Bluehost can also, their support can also help me as well. They have like a chat support and I get, if I get okay. stuck on anything, they can uh, okay. do all that, um, all that, okay. all that uh, IP stuff. Okay. So then you may, may want to reach out to them then. Okay. But, um, at least at least it's already put in on Kartra's side. Okay. Go ahead and go back okay. to it real quick. Okay. Yeah. So um click on um actually no, let's just exit out of that. Just back out. So this this is back the process. Out. Yeah, this is the process. Okay. And right just hit back right there. We'll hit just back. exit out okay. of that. Yeah, hit cancel. Cancel. Okay. So okay, so then we, we let's click on the logo one more time. Let's see if there's anything else. And then the integration, watch, click on the logo top right. On the logo, okay. Your, um, your uh, profile picture again. Yeah, yeah that okay. one. So email notifications, that's one thing you'd want to set up real quick as well. Do, okay. you, have, you, have, do you have any other email other than the Gmail? Um, no, so I have, uh, like I said, I have just Gmail. I have a Yahoo account. That's, that's the only, I only have web-based email. I don't have any private email set up. Right now. Okay. So the private one, so reach out to Bluehost, that.com, okay. you want to also set up an email. Okay. Now, for that.com. Okay. For that.com. Now you don't, don't, I wouldn't have them upsell you on an email server or an email software or what they call, I think an email client. I wouldn't Okay. It's GoDaddy, same thing where you can now have your own email, but it, but it's inside of GoDaddy. Like I wouldn't do it that way. Like tell them that you want to simply set up an email forwarding. So email forwarding. Okay. You have the dot com. You want to simply set up info at benzandwealthhacks.com or whatever it is. Yeah. Tell them you want to set up a custom email, but you want it to be an email forwarding. Email forwarding. So anything that goes to there forwards to your Gmail. My Ben's Health and Wealth Now dot com. Okay, got it. Yeah. No, it forwards that to your sense. Gmail. To my Gmail, to Ben's Health and Wealth now at gmail.com. Yes. So I have a yes. Gmail. Okay. Yes. Bluehost email forwarding. Okay. Because that email, that private.com needs is needed for Kartra. Okay. Okay. So so as you and it's gonna be, it's not it's not gonna be right here, email notifications. It's actually gonna be in my my integrations. So if you click on the okay. left, my integrations, no to the very, very left. Yeah, my integrations. Uh, click integrations. on that. Okay. This is where you're gonna put in that new email. So if you go okay. to Kartra Mail, click on those three right dots. Uh -huh. you go edit. You edit. That's where your new your new email goes. Uh, okay. Got it. And so now as you set up your emails, any email in the future, by default, it reads off of your new your new email. Okay. So that right so there, the send from and the reply to, you want that to be your private email, not a Gmail, not a Yahoo. Okay. Got it. That makes okay, sense. So, so reach out to Bluehost and just say, hey, man, I just need an email forwarding. You know, can you set me up info at healthandwealth.com or whatever you want, Ben at healthandwealth.com, whatever you got. You know? mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so I'll have them do two things. I'll have them make sure they set up the, the IP and the C name stuff and then yeah, set up yeah. that, that forwarding for the email so that it goes to you know, info at, but then forwards to, you know, um, my Gmail account. Okay. Yeah, that right there is the most important. That's okay. the most important. That's the most important. Okay. That's, that's a good start is, is, is getting those, getting those two knocked out. Okay. Getting those Beautiful. two knocked out. Cause then as we go and build pages. So, so now let's cancel out of this. Okay. And, and what you're going to focus on really products is, is one thing. If you're actually selling your book, like if you're mm -hmm. actually selling it, then, then you'll set up a product. Um, okay. but if you're not, then it's, it's really just where you're, where, where you'll spend most of your time is my communications, my pages, my forms and my calendars. Okay. If you're, if you're looking to get people on the, on the phone, which I don't know if you are, but, um, maybe not in the beginning. I mean, maybe yeah, in the may beginning, I like, I like your strategy, which is sell the book, give emails, give value, give reference links to affiliate marketing, you know, Hey, check out this bed that helped my back. This is amazing. 
Uh, this is a part of, you know, if you go to the, the section of sleep where I talk about, you know, boom, boom, check this out. I think that's, you're on the right track. And then yes, if I want to get into consulting, like how you're being a consultant right now, bringing like even the next step value, which is like face to face, then that's something that we could talk about, like getting that going. You Dude, know? Here, here's what's so crazy, bro, is that the moment I started doing these, these calls with people, my YouTube channel blew up. So rather than charging you and uh -huh. be like, yeah, Ben, 90, $99 an hour, bro. I'll talk to you. I'll give you all my secrets here. Freaking yeah. Visa, MasterCard, Amex. What do you freaking prefer? I, I charge a hundred yeah. bucks an hour rather than being that jerk. The way I look at it, I'm like, dude, I'll give you my time. Especially if you, if you sign up with my affiliate, I'll give you my time because what mm -hmm. I'm getting out of it is obviously the value in educating you. And that fires me up too. I love freaking, you know, when, yeah. when you get excited. I love yeah. that shit too, but let's keep it real. I get the damn YouTube video out of it. I get the content out of it. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm in it for as well. So when I started yeah. recording all these calls that I'm taking, that's when my channel blew up. And I barely started doing this, bro. If you go back to my channel, 2017, nothing like this. 2018, nothing like this. It wasn't until maybe the end of 2019 when I started doing, when I started recording my strategy calls and making them my YouTube videos. Yeah. So, so as you start to get your ball rolling, they download your book. They start to get your emails. Hey, John. And by the way, if you ever want to jump on a 30 minute call with me to really get some real tips on what, what I recommend, click here. It'll take you straight to my calendar. And I'd love to set up a, a, a 30 minute zoom and just give you all the strategies, strategies and tips that I got, bro. I'm telling you, dude, they're going to be like, holy shit. Ben's willing to get on the phone with me. Okay, cool. He's willing to do a zoom. Hell yeah. And what you're going to get out of that, bro, is obviously bringing value to that person, but getting the YouTube video out of it as well. Yeah. And, and start uploading a bunch of those, those videos. Again, I can e easily charge people. Where, where my knowledge is at now, bro, I can easily charge people for these damn calls. You definitely could. You but definitely I don't want could. to, man. I'll get yeah. the YouTube video out of it and, and build a damn YouTube channel out of it. And that's my long-term play. Mm -hmm. Right? So, so anything I can do to create content for the YouTube channel is what I'm after. Yeah. And, and, and that's why now I got a bunch of strategy calls because I'm recording every damn call and that's my damn YouTube video. Yeah. And, and, and people that watch it that, that are just random people that, that are watching it right now on YouTube, they're getting a ton of value out of it as well. And, and I'm staying on topic with the whole thing. You know, it's all online entrepreneurship, affiliate marketing, mm -hmm. landing pages, email automation. It's all the same shit. Yeah. So, so I'm still staying on topic and I'm creating a YouTube video out of it. Yeah. And so that's not a bad idea for you to help grow your, your channel even more in the future is yeah, dude, people that download your stuff, dude, give them 30 minutes, jump on zoom, yeah. record it, make that your next YouTube video. Okay. And I'm telling oh, you, man, your, your, your channel will, will blow up, you know? I like that. I like that. So, um, let's go to, so why don't we go to communications real quick? Click on my communications. Okay. Um, communication. And again, what, I would take you from the beginning and have you set up everything individually. But like I said, I'm going to just give you my whole entire funnel and, and, okay. and as, okay, so here's the deal. As I get, get it over to you and you import the share code and then you deploy it, that's where you're going to start seeing everything. So right now, if you click on my communications, if you click on my pages, if you click on my forms, nothing's there. So my communications, there's no list there. Click on my pages. There is no pages there. Click on, click on uh, my forms. There's no forms there. Click on my calendar. There's no calendar there. As I give you my entire freaking blueprint, then you're going to come back in and click on all of those and you'll see it there. Wow. So boom, you're going to see a calendar under the pages. You're going to see all my pages and everything is this one campaign. It's all this yeah. one funnel. So rather than taking you from the beginning, I'm going to just import it and, and, and then you can work it from there. You'll be able to go to the page, click on the three dots. You'll be able to open it up and, 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 and edit from there. Okay. So well, one other plugin okay. that I want you to plug in real quick, go to google.com. Okay. And, 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 and install this free plugin, which is called, um, um, Oops. color pick eyedropper. Color pick eyedropper. Let yeah, me share is, the screen with you so you can see it. You want you to can. see what I'm doing? Yeah, it's okay. all good. Let me share. share this is a super game changer because yeah. this allows you to grab the exact color of anything online. 
So as I start to build these pages, I want the color to match, right? Like I don't want to send you to my thing, my landing page and the freaking color is green, but then I take you to my thank right. you page and the freaking, the green is a little darker. You know what I mean? Like right. I want to be able to match my colors identical to the exact color code. Okay. And so, so what, what was that page again? What was it called? Color, color pick, P I C K. Yeah. Color pick. No, all one word. Color, color pick. Okay. P I C. I think it's P I C K. Okay. Eyedropper. Eyedropper. Yeah. yeah. That one. Okay. Color pick eyedropper. Okay. So this is going to just sit up in the top, right? Right where your Grammarly thing is at. Yeah. Um, it was just set up there. So click on that first one. This one right here? Yeah, the Google Chrome. Okay. And just install that real quick. So it's an extension basically, right? It's an extension. That's all it is. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, this is this is super, super important. This is step one. The, before you even okay. go into anything else, like this right here is a game changer. Um, yeah. So add extension. Okay. So now you'll just have this little color pick that little, that little color wheel, you know, it'll be up there by the Grammarly. Mm -hmm. And then now as you go into the pages and start building the pages, the button, the header, all these different random things on the page, you can now, you know, identically match the code. Oh, wow. That's really cool. So here's what you do. So go to, um, you can't grab anything on this page, but go to any other random page, go to, go to Amazon, pull up that Amazon tab. Amazon tab. There you go. So just go to, so click on the color wheel. And then, and then hover over that black. Hover over. Just scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Oops. Click on it and then scroll down. Okay. To the black, no, to the, to the, to the t-shirt. To the t-shirt. Oh, okay. So you hover over the t-shirt. Whoops. Yeah. Hover over the t-shirt and then click, okay. click, click. There's the code. So you copy that code, copy okay. that code, the 262221, copy that uh -huh. code, and then you X out. You got to X out. So copy it and then X out. Boom. Okay. And then now as you go into a Kartra page, you can match that color. Ah, uh, I see. So on a Kartra right? page, you can match. I see. Okay. So, if I, so if you pull up your logo, that green, I need that exact code. Uh -huh. So I can hover. You could pull up, you could pull up your, your image. Pull up your logo, hover over that green. You won't be able to do it there. Okay. Actually, you could do it there. I guess you could do it there if you go to the profile and you can, or and just go so, to any. So I click that and then click that. Well, there's, then... There, yeah, but if you open up the logo, like if you really open up the image, that's what you I probably see. want to do is. Okay. But X out, make sure you X out. You always got to yeah. X out. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So like if you just so, go to freaking. Like, just go to Fiverr. Pull up that Fiverr tab. Okay. Where's Fiverr at? So I think I can't see it. Okay. Move this one out a little bit. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so if you just hover, click on the, on the color wheel and just hover over that orange, you can grab any color and you get the exact code. Or okay, hover so over... The first, so the first thing I do is I click the wheel. Click the wheel. And then... And click, then scroll click, down. Click, then scroll down. Away I from see. that. Go to any color. Away from that. And then just go to like here. Go to go to post a post a request. Go to that that till. Post a request. Where's that uh button? Uh, to the left. To the left. Right there, that poster. Post yeah, right request. there. Okay. Boom, I, see. I can grab that exact till. Okay, I see. But not, but you're over the letters. Don't go over the color. Go over the blue. Get away from the letters. Oh, go, okay. yeah, I think it's the blue. Okay. Yeah. So, bam. That's the color code. I copy, copy that. that and I, I X out. And then I go to a Kartra page, open up that color, and paste that code in. Let me go to Kartra. So, now I can I just... Can put, I so, so for okay. example, let's just ra start, a, start a random page. Click on the green button. Okay. Let's just, let's just open up a, a random page and click okay. on squeeze pages. So the, over here to the left, you have a bunch of different pages. So uh -huh. all the templates are already done for you, bro. So open up anyone. Let's open up anyone. Click on select. This is how you would open up a page. So we, let's say we choose that one. Click on the green one, launch builder. I want to build it. Okay. So we still have that. And then let's name this, just name it test because we're going to just test it. Now, here's the thing though. The categories, 
I want you to get in the good habit of categorizing everything because 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 mm -hmm. you're gonna have funnels and pages for different projects. This one's gonna be health and wealth. Another one might be just affiliate marketers. Another one might be real estate. So I want to start mm -hmm. categorizing and putting these pages all in one, in, in all in each category. So okay. I would click on manage my categories. Let's go manage my categories. Okay. And then go ahead and just put in test. Let's let's name one category test. Click on add. And then and then we're gonna click on done. So we see it there, yeah. drop to the bottom, click on done. Now hit the select category. And there it is there. So now this page, I'm gonna start categorizing. So okay. so and then right there, site, select site, put no site in particular. You don't need to put a you, yeah, put that and then create. So now I have the, the page name, it's in a category, and now I'm ready to create. So if I come in here, this is where the magic happens. So again, all these templates. Now the campaigns, what I showed you earlier with the Frank Kern book funnel, all those are, are, mm -hmm. are, are full funnels. Yeah. Those are all done for you full funnels. In this case, we're talking about the page. The page is even already done as far as yeah. the template. Now we can completely change the template. Go ahead and scroll down. You could change anything about a template, but at least the, the template is already there. So yeah. in this case, go ahead and start tutorial. And you can read this part later, but, but go ahead and click on that blue button, start tutorial. Well, okay. It just walks you through, and I want you to read that later because you'll learn settings. Okay. Like there's, it just walks you through each part of the builder. Okay. Which is is good to read, so you can start knowing which which part is which. So sections, components, the landing pop up, the exit pop up. So just keep keep going. Next, 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 next. Read that part later. Um, well, let me just give you a crash course. Okay. Yeah, you can watch, you can see that page in desktop view, tablet view, mobile view, so you can see what it looks like as you're, as you're building it out. And you're going to learn all this stuff quick, bro. Like, you'll learn all this yeah. stuff quick. And you won't have to go through this every single time you open up a new page, but it's just in the beginning. Okay. Um, and then at the end, it'll give you the option to not not see again but i i want you to see it again so like, like right there don't show me again do that later but yeah. don't do that right now so just let's get started okay okay so you have that code copied so watch for example hover over watch scroll down scroll hover down. over the button so go to the button where's the button at down 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 right there learn more Love hover it. over that click on the pencil so i can delete it i can exit out i can clone it Look to the left, to the left, there's that envelope or that folder looking thing. No, right there. I can clone oh. it, meaning I can duplicate the button. Okay. But if I hit the edit, then yeah, it comes into the edit. There's that background color. There's that color, that pink. Click on that. Okay. And then paste in that other color. So, so take out take that. Take this out right here. Take that take out. That yep. out. Oops. Take that out. Well, that's where I want me to do it. Or just paste it in there, right? Paste it in. Paste it in. Click okay, apply. Boom. Apply. Bam. Oh wow. That's so I'm able to just coming. match every color, dude. Like that's super important, you know? Wow. And so, so I see you're matching everything. I'm matching to, everything. Yeah. So in your case, you're matching everything to that green, to that green and black. I would rock with that green and black, bro. I would rock okay. that on every page. Every page, black and green, dude. Green. Okay. I would I would for sure roll with those color that color theme. Okay. Um, and then, and then if you scroll up on the configuration in that, in that window still to the left, mm -hmm. you can even play around with it as far as the um, scroll up, like the button size, the button type, the button shadow, wow. the text. Okay. I can rewrite, hit the text. Okay. okay. I can, I, instead of learn more, I could put click here. You know, I could do whatever on the text. I can change the font. The icon is go to, if you display it, it just gives you the ability to put in a little watch, select anything, hit that select icon, hit that drop down, and just pick pick anything. Wow. But there's all kinds of different ones. Hit apply, and then go back down to the button. Look at the button. Oh. Boom! You got that little thing. So you could put a different icon there. Click on the link at the top. Click on link. This right here. Where do we want to take them? So if they click on it, where do they go? And and wow. and, and I can send them to my Facebook group which would be which would be linked to an external url or right. i can send them to a Karcher page which is what it would be 
right? They would, they, they actually, you know what? No, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be sending them to a cartridge page. What I would end up doing in this case, it would be pop an opt-in form. So click okay. on that real quick, pop an opt-in form. So if it's a landing page, there's a form that pops up. So if you scroll down to the left, to the left, scroll down right there, there's all these templates that are the actual form. Mm -hmm. So forms are independent. Forms are, 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 are their, own, their own asset. Right. So you got the page, that's one thing. You got the form, that's another. And then you got, a, you got the thank you page. Where do they go after they fill out the form? That's the thank you page. So that's the third asset. So mm -hmm. scroll down, scroll down. There's all kinds of different freaking examples. And so you just find one, you know, that, that, that you can, you know, resonate with, you know, keep it, keep it simple or whatever. And then just, just click on it and you're going to drag it over to the right. Uh, let's just do like a newsletter or something like that. So we go. Yeah. So drag that, click it over, drop it. And then now X out of that configuration, go ahead and X out of that. Yeah. Up. No, to the left, the configuration. To the left. Okay. Up. Right there. Just X oh. out. No, right no, 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 no. That X hit the X right above the X. It. Let me, let me move. I see it right here. Right there. Yeah. Okay. So now here I could change that envelope. I can, I can change the color of the envelope. Um, that, that form. So watch click hover over the envelope up. No up right there. That envelope hover over that click on the pencil. I can even, you know, get rid of it if I want. But there's the color. So go ahead and hit that color and just paste in that 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 color. So bam, hit apply. And I can change the envelope. You know, I can make wow. it a different icon. You know, I can I can even put my logo right there. So whatever, whatever you want. But here's what we gotta we gotta also do. So this is the form. And so let's X out of that real quick. Hit that configuration, hit that X, scroll down right there, hover right there, right there, hit that edit. So now we have to set up a form. And again, I'm going to send you over my entire blueprint, but these are all the basics right here. So uh, this is good that we're practicing. So we don't okay. have a form set up yet. So we're going to create a new form. Okay. So this is the opt-in form. Create a new opt-in form. Okay. So let's just put, um, go ahead and put test. So we're going to name the opt-in form name it test and then go to the top and then just freaking um, save it or whatever. Scroll. Yeah. Right there. Create. Right. Perfect. So anyone who fills out this form, hit apply to the left, click apply. Perfect. And then it's, it's not going to be finished yet. You're going to see error because with the mm -hmm. form, what we got to do is set up the thank you page. So cards right. needs to know as they come here and fill out the form, where do they go next? that's the thank you page right so now that's the form let's go ahead and, and and scroll up a little bit to the right and hit done yeah make sure you always hit that done yeah. and anytime i do anything to a page i'll always go to the top right hit actions that green button and i always just save progress to the right to the right the green okay. the green actions, button yeah. yeah save progress i'll save every five minutes if needed because i don't want to yeah. lose anything you know yeah. but here here's another thing that i want you to know this is a good habit to get in, in to, to just start to, you know, know. When I open up a new page, it doesn't matter what it is. Thank you page, landing page, whatever. The first thing I normally do is I go to the settings to the, to the left, mm -hmm. click on the settings to the very, very left. To the left, okay. And I want to change the title of the page. Because remember, we named the page. As we came in here and, and started it, we gave it a name. Mm -hmm. And by default, that name is also the name in the tab. So up there, as you have a million tabs open, yeah. all those tabs have a title. So right. if I click on SEO parameters, this is the title of my tab. Okay. So just because I, I named the page internally test, I don't always want that to be shown to the public. Right. So as people go to my page and they look at the name in the tab, I may want it to, to read something else. I may want it to read Ben's health and wealth. Right. I don't want it to read opt-in. I don't want it to read test. You know what I mean? Now internally that's fine, but not externally, not for the general public. So that's right. what I would normally do is I would change that, that title if needed. And then the description, a description of the ebook, 
keywords who you're targeting, affiliate marketers, health and wealth, people interested in, 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 in health hacks, all that could be keywords, the author, your name, and all that information, the descriptions, the author name, the page OG title, that all of that is what shows up when you go and post that link on social media. So as you take the link, because even though you're, you're planning on maybe running ads or whatever, you're still yeah. going to end up taking that link and sharing it on social media somehow, some way. Right. You're, you're still going to post it everywhere. Yeah. And as you do, there's information that shows. So as you take that link and share it in your, news, in your Facebook newsfeed, as you take that link and share it on LinkedIn, there's information that shows. And that's the information right there. And then also down below, the image. So as you post a link on Facebook specifically, as you post it on Facebook, there's information that populates. It's going to be that description and it's going to be an image. And so that right there, I'll, I'll change the image and I'll have like a nice image, you know, right there. So as people share it on social media, there's an image that shows up. And so scroll down, go ahead and click on no image selected, click on that and hit, hit upload image and maybe just add your logo image, but it, it's not going to be yeah. like a, like a vector file. It's not, it's going to be, it, it's not even that size really. You want it to be more of a, um, that size really isn't the size, but you can do that for now. But it's a JPEG for now. Yeah. No, JPEG is, is fine. The file is fine, but I'm talking about the actual dimensions. Okay. The dimensions, this is more of a, of a square, I think. And, and we want more of like a, like a, like a widescreen, like horizontal image. Got it. Okay. Like, you know how, like when you take a picture on your phone, like on your cell phone, mm -hmm. you can yeah. take a picture this way. Right. And that gives me a, 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 a vertical image. Like right. you take a, you take a picture of your chick and you <clears> hold the phone this way. That's a vertical image of her. But if you take the, if you take the picture this way, that's a different, this right here is a different dim dimension than that one right there that you have posted. Right. 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 That's more of a square that you have right there. Mm -hmm. But we kind of, we're looking for this dimension of a widescreen image. Yeah. More of a that's landscape my, image. Landscape. Yeah. Landscape. Yeah. That's the image that I would put for my social image. Okay. So, so you can easily, do you ever use Canva? Uh, I've heard of it and I've, uh, oh, you know, I haven't used it yet. Canva is amazing. It's free. Canva.com. Okay. You can easily crop it there. Um, okay. So Canva.com, save that one. So go ahead and use that one for now. Click on it. Click on the image. Okay. You got. I think you got to click on the image first. Or did you already? I think I did. I. I uh, well, maybe I didn't. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Select okay, it. Select. Yeah. You got to select okay. it. There you go. Perfect. And then confirm. Um, there we go. Okay. Cool. So now we're good with that. So as again, you take that link, share it on Facebook. That image will show. Okay. Okay. So so that's that's what I normally do first. Is I'll I'll come in. I'll make sure that the the tab. It, ha it has the right title. I'll make sure uh -huh. that the description, the keywords, my name, and then I'll change that image. That's normally what I do first step when I open up a new page. Okay. Okay. Um, and, then, and then as you scroll down, go to um, sections on the left. Yeah, you already clicked apply, so we're good there. Click on sections. And then here is where you can just grab, like, like look at the header menus. Click, click on that, header menus, down. Oh, header menus, yeah. Oops. So right here, this yeah. is just, um, yeah, click on sections. And then you got, you got header menus, which right here, so let's play around. Click and drag it to the very top. Drop here. No, you got, there you go. Okay. Bam. Oh, And beautiful. then... Let's hit the block templates. Let's let's hit the back arrow. Okay. So there's all kinds uh, of different styles, bro. No, 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 not the X. Hit the arrow to the left. Hit the arrow to the left. Where right where it says block arrow. templates. This is block templates. What are they? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, hit the arrow. The arrow to the left. So okay. so that that that's a header. Let's go with um scroll down, go to features. Actually, even hero sections. Click yeah, that's fine. But here, look, look, scroll down. These are just different blocks. There are different mm -hmm. blocks that you can just use. So grab anyone, click on it, and drag it over. Where do I put it? Just anywhere or? See if you could drop it there. 
Yeah, drop. You could drop. You could. You could start building this thing out, bro. Like you could start just getting creative with it, and start building it out. Wow, that's pretty. But again, these templates are already pre-designed for you, so you shouldn't really have to do all this stuff. But you can. You can. You know, you can. And then, and then, you can also watch X out of that now. The block templates X out. Yeah, X X out. out There you go. And then, let's say for example, we don't want that one. Scroll down. So to the right, you see that red tab. Click on that Mm -hmm. red. And I can go in and edit or I can, or I can exit out and delete the whole thing. Wow. So, that, so you just like so, get rid of it. You could just be like, boom, and you could say delete, delete, and, would, and, and then just get rid of the whole it. damn block. So delete it. And then boom, it's back to just having the header back at the top. The header. Wow. That's pretty but awesome. Score to the very bottom of the page. Score to the very sure. bottom, very, very bottom, very bottom. Perfect. So right now that's the footer. So click to the left, go to sections. Okay. It's sections and components where you'll be in most of the time to the very left. Oh, to the very sections left. Sections okay, and components. components. So click on sections. And, and so we got headlines. We got headlines. Take, take, click on that. And now there's different headlines where I can click it, drag it over. And, 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 and so right where you see the orange line, when it turns green, click it right where, right when it turns green, that's where mm-hmm. you drop it. So hover over until until you see green. Okay. Right there, it's green. So it's green, like right there. There we so go. You drop it I wherever see. wherever it's green. Okay. And wow. and then so now go back, hit the hit the arrow, block templates, hit the arrow. So that's headlines. Go down. There's buttons. There's text. So I could take wow. that button if I want to put another button. Click on it. Drag it over. And right when there's orange lines. Yeah. Scroll down green. to make sure it turns green, and that's where you could drop it in the green. Where so you can drop it. I see. There it is. I had it. Where's the green? There we go. And then X out of that. I can hover over the button, hover over it, go edit, and then I can obviously change the color. But what I can do is I can center it. So go to alignment. Right now it's to the left. I want to line it and I want to center it. So center that button, hit apply. Okay, and then boom. It. Wow. And then I can go to button size. Right now it's large. Let's say I wanted it all across. So go to go to button size right where it says large yeah. and go extra large or go full width. Or I can go giant. Full go full width. width, hit apply. And then boom. There we go. That's amazing. So you could just start playing around with it, dude. And then um and then go to go to sections again to the very left sections. Excuse me. Bless you. Section. Sections. Yeah, click on that one. Sections. Okay. And then um let's see what else we got in there. My computer my, my computer's freezing a little bit. <clears throat> well shit, bro, with freaking fifty seven tabs open. I know, dude, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, dude, I got a dude, lot going on. You do, man. You do. Yeah, I got. I got to slow down a little bit. Hit sections, and then let's see what else. What else is in there? Um, buttons, text. Yeah, let me get rid of um, this really quick. Close some stuff out. That should help. Okay, back to Partra. And then what I also do too, I don't want to get ahead of us, but let me, let me, um, like when it comes to just multiple tabs of Kartra, you can, mm-hmm. you can have that, that open as well, which I, I tend to do a lot. Um, but I'll show you how to do it. So go, um, sorry, this, uh, oops. Did I, did I lose that whole? I think I lost that whole browser. <laughs> Sorry. Let me just open up. Let me just open up Kartra again. That's probably what we need to do anyway. Just have Kartra open.
You got it. Yeah, let me get the it's a password. I reset the password earlier, so let me just uh, let me just reset, let me just grab this password really quick. Oh, you got you got kicked out of Kartra. Yeah, well, I got kicked out. I lost that whole browser. I think my computer got fed up with me having too many browsers open. Uh, let me just uh, get a new password really quick. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna have to reset the password really quick because I didn't do that. Yes, let me just reset the password. And see, just like just like that stuff that we went through right now with the, with the page builder, it's like, dude, after a few times of you doing that, it's like you're gonna you're gonna be like Superman. You're gonna know that shit like the back of your hand, you know? Yeah, this is like it's all new to me, so it's it's fun. And it's I'm learning it, and I do have a long way to go. <clears throat> let's see. All right, let's get back to Carter so we can finish up here. Oh, let's see, it's not working. What's going on here? Uh, what's going on here? Okay. Uh. And that's why I always hit save progress after so many minutes because you don't want to build a whole damn page and then this shit happens, you know? I, I know. It's like you would have lost that whole page. You no, know, I gotta get this password thing worked out here. Let me see. Uh, that's my password. Okay. So reset password. It gives me a code. See to log in. Well, it's weird. I'm trying to reset the password, and it says invalid login. It's giving me a code, but it's not um, not working. So let's see what am I doing wrong here. Um, it's very weird. Um, just a second here. <clears throat> so when you reset, you just say forget password, right? If you forgot your password, it should yeah. be simple. Yeah. Okay. And it sends you a link, right? Let's yeah. See. Okay, let's see. So it's giving me a link. You click there. Copy, they gave me the password. Oh, invalid login. That is so weird. I don't know what to do. Okay. 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 So then we were in so now so now click on my pages. Okay. Now here's what we gotta do real quick also. So Let's open back up that page. Hit the three dots, click on edit. And now as you, as you start to build these pages, you'll then mm -hmm. be able to clone them for other projects. So now, now, okay. you, now you have the page. Now there's the template. You can always clone it and just duplicate it. And then obviously have that page again to do something different with. You know, so, so go ahead and hit edit. So one thing you'll always want to do is save progress when you're in there. Like after you're doing a few things, save progress uh -huh. because let's see how much of it you lost. 
probably that last bit that we did because we didn't click save that right. last few minutes. Yeah, we didn't save a lot of that last stuff. So, so to the left, it will be. Um, yeah, so you have to just click next, 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 next on this one. Oh yeah. Okay. Good. What's going on? Okay, I start tutorial. But yeah, it's all good. So just um, yeah. you can always play around with different things in here. And so to the left, mm -hmm. it's sections. Click on sections again. It's sections and components on where you'll kind of spend the most of your time when you're in a builder. So you scroll down. Okay. okay. In there, like you just yeah, scroll down. You see all these different things. So countdown clock, testimonials, um, pricing tables scroll down is there um you got opt-in forms like so many different things that you can bring over but um so yeah that's a different form of countdown clock there's other countdown clocks as well but the footers go to the footers click on footers and then there's all these different examples different um types of footers so the footer would go at the very bottom so if I want to get rid of that, yeah, you don't want to put it at the top. A footer would go at the very bottom of the page. So you want to get rid so, of that. Okay. So, we so I just... go to the right. Yeah. That red one, just X out that whole block. Perfect. And then, and then, so scroll to the bottom of the page. Yeah. Hit delete and then scroll to the very bottom and drag a footer to the bottom. Now there's, there's that footer, but if we want a different one, click it, drag it over and then drop here wherever you see drop here and then you can okay. just scroll down and then to the right that yeah that red one just get rid of that one and then all you're going to do is just hover over the icons and you can um hit delete yeah hover over the icons and then you can add your social media link so i would just hover over hover oh. ho yeah hit the pencil and then boom just grab your facebook link and then you're going to paste it in um, click on link, link at the top, uh, link at the top. Yeah. Okay. And then that's, and then you'll link to an external URL uh -huh. and then scroll down. And then what I always do is all, um, and then make sure it's HTTPS. Uh -huh. like hit that drop down, go to the S yeah, there you go. And then you can just type in your www.facebook.com forward slash whatever your thing is. What that would do is, okay. And then what I always do when it comes to these icons like this, for example, I'll have it open in a new tab because I don't want okay. them to click on it and then leave completely leave the page. Like I want them to click on it okay. and in a new tab. There's my Facebook page, mm -hmm. you know, so, so that's that. And then I you see. always hit apply the green. Yeah. That once you click, yeah. Once you put there that link and then you'll see the green apply button light up and just always apply yeah perfect and then and then um and then so now components look at components to the left components components okay. so now we have a whole set of different ones over here so a lot of the times what i do yeah you got headlines you got text you got different buttons you, you can you can bring over different images like click on image and then you just grab that drag it over and wherever you want to put it, look for the green line. Look for the green. All you're going to do is hover over the orange, and it turns green, actually. It turns green. Okay. Yeah, so hover over any orange. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, so an image can go right there. If I want okay. to change, so X out of that real quick. If I want to change the background pink, click that red button to the right. Edit, and there's that pink. So I can change that, that pink. Change it from, and we can put it in that that teal if we want, right? Yeah, or whatever color. Yeah, whatever color we want. It. I can either choose that color from right there, or I can grab that code and paste it in that code. And then if there's any blocks that you want to okay. save, so for example, go to the very very bottom. What I normally mm -hmm. do for, what I yeah, this is what I do for everything is I'll keep the same 
like for example, once I hook up all those social media icons, I'm only going to do that once. Once I put in my copyrights by Ben's health and wealth, I'm only going to put that in once, put my logo in that becomes its own asset. Mm -hmm. That is the footer. I'll hit that red button to the right, click on that. And then I'm going to click on the heart and I'm going to save it. Okay. So now I can just use that same footer over and over and over for every over and over again. Wow. So I want to also tell you these icons bring up a whole other thing. This would be like a whole other strategy calls like what I should be linking things to, like for Facebook. Like should I be linking to the group, to a page, for Twitter, for LinkedIn, for YouTube? Like that'll be a whole other thing. Is like because I only have like a you know a general you know um, Facebook account. I have a real estate page that has you know, the, the real estate work that I do. Uh, I don't use Instagram that much right now, but this is probably a whole nother, you know, call that we can have. Well, it's a simple one answer. Set them all up, set them all up. Okay. And, 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 and all the pages are going to be, there, there's two sections on, on every platform. You have the title of the page, which would be your name. That's the mm -hmm. title. That's the name of the page. And then you have the username. Okay. So the username is facebook.com forward slash men's health and wealth. It's that okay. username. So what I would suggest is customizing the username, making sure that matches for everything. And, and then that's the link that you tie to those icons. So with the Facebook one, I would have a link to your group. Okay. Right. Like I would, I would set up a, a, a group and have that link. Okay. Right there. Okay. That doesn't have to go to your personal page, you know, okay. it can go, it can go and anywhere. And then same thing for Instagram, same thing for the YouTube page. Like it would all, there's the links are all there to go oh, yeah. do that. Watch X okay. out of this real quick. X okay. out of this hover over, um, hover over the, um, Instagram icon, just hover over it and click on that envelope or that. Yeah. Co clone. No clone. clone. Okay. Okay. Now, now oh. go to, um, hover over it. And then open up the edit, hit the pencil, and then hit the drop down right where it says select icon and type in YouTube. Right where, yeah, right there. Hit that drop down, type oh, in see. YouTube. And there's different oh, types YouTube of YouTube. Here. There's different oh, ones. Wow. So maybe go with the play button. Check that play button. Cause I know the text right there, it, that's supposed to say YouTube, but it's so small. So I don't even like that one. Go to the play okay. button. Hit, hit, hit again. Type in YouTube. Uh, or there it I'm is. In YouTube. I, I normally go with the YouTube play. YouTube play. Okay. Click on that one. YouTube play. Where, where is that yeah, one? Down, at? down, uh, just so a down. Just a few down. Right there, right there, right there. YouTube play. There yeah. we go. That's Click on the apply. One. Okay. There we go. And then boom. Beautiful. I, I see. Okay. And then I would just link that to your YouTube channel, you know? That's um, perfect. And so that's that but 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 this is just little random stuff that is time consuming so you don't want to, have to mm -hmm. do this every single time so so right. now we clicked on the red button to the right click on the heart and that would save it okay so once you um once you once you first of all you saved it while it's not even all set up so mm -hmm. set it all up and then save that one we'll save that one right yeah okay and and where you're going to find that next time is if you go to X out of the configuration, click on components, and then scroll to the very top. Actually, it's under sections. Click to the left sections. Up to sections, okay. Scroll to the very top. You'll see it right there under favorite blocks. So favorite actually blocks. click on it. Oh. Yeah, click on it. So boom. Beautiful. Wow, that's amazing. So get rid of one of them. Just get rid of, of get rid it. Of yeah, and then as you go and fix up the final final one, save that one and get rid of that other one. Okay. Makes so sense. So I can keep this one. Yeah, and then put a, put the links in there, save it, save it in actions. Then I have it to use wherever I want to put it. Yeah. Basically. Right? Yeah, for sure. Or you can put it, you can say, yeah, you can use it for every freaking page. And that's, that's okay. how I set up mine. So as I set up my emails, I also have a, a template that I save for my emails. Cause as my emails go out, I want everything to be consistent and uniform. As I set up my pages, I want my footers to match and be uniform. Okay. I don't want it to, you know, one footer is this way and another footer looks different. Like I want my shit to match and that's yeah. so important. 
Um, and it's basic. It's basic branding. You know, like I would rock that green and black on every page from oh, this point on. On everything. Everything, yeah. dude. And, okay. and the same yeah. footer, same, you know, same, really it's the footer. I don't really save anything else of a page. I really just mm -hmm. save the footer. It's the footer that I want to okay. save. I want that to match on every page. Okay. Because every page is going to be somewhat different. Landing page, opt-in page, thank you page. All that's going to be different, but the footer remains the same. The copyrights, the social media icons, like all that stays the same. And, and okay. that's what I normally save. So Ooh, save in progress, lot, hit, hit the green one. <laughs> You'll learn this stuff. Hit okay. the green one, save in progress. And here's what we do on the way out. Save progress. And then we're going to X out of this and we're going to hit... No, 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 no. Yeah, that one. That, yeah, that one. X out of there. And then go back to the green button and then publish live. And as you go and publish live, once you do integrate your domain, this is where you can change it. So as you publish live, you're going to now have the ability to customize the URL. So we're either going to switch it to your domain or we're going to continue to use the Kartra default one, which is totally fine. So get the page link, click that. Yeah, click that. So right here, that's the default link that Kartra is giving you. Healthandwealth.kartra.com forward slash page forward slash ZN1. So if I click the pencil, because you don't have your own domain in there yet, but if you did, you'd be able to hit the drop down and you would see your domain. I see. So you hit the drop down, you would see your domain right there okay. you would click on your domain and then and then now that'd be ben and ben, that'd be healthandwealth.com and then i can customize the the zn l1 and Got even it. in this case using the Kartra default that's why it doesn't even matter right now you don't need your domain right now exactly right now because you can always mm -hmm. change this in the future okay. but even right now use that one and then at least just customize the back part of it so you back customize that maybe you know opt-in page or freaking start here or whatever you can because the general whatever. public's going to see that so you don't want it to say opt-in but yeah it could be it could be health and wealth dot dot com forward slash page forward slash freaking ben's health and wealth yeah or, uh, yeah, yeah yeah something like yeah, that yeah okay. something like that um so yeah definitely integrate your domain um mm -hmm. add your email yeah that's super important okay have it forwarding to your gmail that's totally fine okay uh, and that's where I would start. And then, okay. and, then, and then when you get your book, you know, hit me up and we'll get, a, we'll get an, on another call. But what I'm going to do tonight is I'll package everything up and then I'll email you the share code. Okay. So go, go in. So now, now hit the pencil or hit that checkbox. Actually, you got to go back. Sorry, you got to go back. Let's hit go publish back. live. Hit publish live. Oh, wait, where'd I, Pub where'd I do Green that button. again? Green button. There we go. Yeah. Publish live. Cause publish you didn't live. save that. You didn't save yeah, that link. Save it. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna hit the pencil, and then um, you're gonna hit the check mark. Okay, so so let's let's hit the pencil and let's just customize it. Put something there for now. That Z N. Okay. Yeah, get rid of that let's, and just put. Let's say like a start here or something. Perfect. And then That'd hit the check good. mark. Just for testing purposes. Yeah, and then and then copy that link. And then just open it up in a, new, in a new tab, and that's where you can see it live. Okay. Copy. And then, oops. And boom, there goes your 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 first opt-in page, dude. Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's what it looks like. Wow. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Now, now you do need a thank you page, so not everything's tied into the form. Because if you click on the button. It's not going to take you anywhere right now. Click on the learn more. Mm -hmm. And even scroll down. Look at the footer. Maybe scroll like, all the way down. Subscribe to newsletter. Uh, See, so there's an error because the opt-in form is not tied to a thank you page yet. So you got to set up that thank you page. Right. Um, but then right. there goes your, your footer at the bottom. Very powerful stuff, David. <laughs> yeah, dude. So play it's around with it. Pretty amazing. Jump on our Thursday call if you can. And if you can't, they okay. send a replay out that very next day. You'll get a replay. But, okay. but but start there too, man. Watch those replays. Jump in the Kartra group just for the hell of it. Like go to Facebook mm -hmm. and, and and it's it's under Kartra official. Okay. And, and just start reading some stuff. Just getting just start getting acclimated to the verbiage and what what people are posting. 
and, oh, and okay. just random questions that you start to see and that will start clicking with you and you're like, okay, damn, that, that's a good question. Let me see what these people say about it. So it's okay. good to be in that cartridge group in the beginning. And then after you just start to learn, you might not need it anymore, but yeah, right there for sure. Well, dude, that was a lot, dude. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah. That. yeah. yeah was Thank lot. you so much, dude. Oh, dude, you're um, welcome, bro. Really, really appreciate you. And I'm excited to finish this book and show it to you. I want to read yours if you want to send that with uh, all the codes and everything you're going to give me. Yes, to dude, yes. Stuff. I would love, I want to see what you did. And uh, just thank, can't thank you enough, man. Let's do it, bro. Game time. Hit me up anytime and we'll jump on another call. Okay. Thank you, David. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Later, Take bro. Take care, bud. You too. Bye. Bye.